Come on, we have to be realistic here. We all know the dry down is the most important part of a fragrance. The opening in the top notes catches your attention for sure, and there's a lot of amazing fragrances out there which primarily focus on the opening. However, the opening is only with you for a short time. What you're gonna be smelling for the majority of the time of you wearing your fragrance is going to be the dry down. So this was actually a viewer requested video. He left a comment wanting me to make a video on 10 of the best designer fragrance dry downs and here's what I came up with. So if you like videos like this, make sure you get subscribed down below and hit that like button. It really shows me that you guys do enjoy these videos. And I do also want to point your attention to the description box. I will provide links to all these fragrances down below so you can pick them up at a discount. So let's jump right into it. First fragrance up, we have Mugler Pure Havan. This one is like the budget version of Zerzhov Naxos. I'm sure you guys have heard of that fragrance, the nice honey sweet scent. This one comes in at a fraction of the cost and it smells really, really nice. I mean, that's a good smelling scent. The opening just then smelled amazing. However, when this one has time to settle down on your skin, it's working with your skin chemistry, your body's heating up, that's when this one really develops and comes alive. And if you combine that with the nice cool fall and winter air, that's gonna make it even better. So make sure when you're giving this one a try and the same thing goes to all the other ones in this list coming up, you wanna make sure you wait until you get to the dry down till you can fully make a decision on whether or not you like it. And I would say for this one, the majority of you guys in the sweet scents are gonna like this one in the dry down. Moving next, we have Dior Homme Intense. We have the quintessential iris fragrance right here. It gets that lipstick smell from the iris, but you also get some ambrette and some like chocolatey type of notes in here as well. So it's smooth, it's sweet, it's a bit chocolatey, creamy. Um, that iris note giving it that iris lipsticky smell, kind of a bit of a floral touch. Uh, Dear Homme Intense, I'm sure most of you have smelled it at this point, so I don't need to explain it to you, but I can tell you, if you haven't gotten your nose on this one, it's a must have and a must try. It's an addictive scent. Give this one a shot, Dior Homme Intense. And again, the dry down, that's the best part. Moving along, we have Paco Rabanne Pure Excess Night. Love the opening of this one. However, for some, it can be a bit off-putting. It's got a very spicy cumin note in here. I don't remember for sure if it's listed, but to my nose, it's like a cumin note and it's strong. You can smell it, you can feel it as well in the opening when you first spray it on. However, the dry down of this scent is money. That's where it's at and that's why I love this scent so much is because of its dry down. I've said it before multiple times, a big improvement over the original Pure Excess, which I still do like and appreciate, but this one really fills in the cracks, makes a much more unique and just complete scent overall, in my opinion. Pure Excess Night, another fantastic one that just gets even better in the dry down. Moving up here, we have Versace Dylan Blue. This guy is known as a compliment beast for good reason because, well, it is a compliment beast. You don't have to worry about going out on a limb when you wear this one and people may be thinking you smell weird or bad or different or whatever. This is very much a mass appealing, clean, fresh shower gel type of scent. The opening smells great and it will catch your attention when you try this one, especially for the first time, but you'll find when you get the majority of the compliments is gonna be in the dry down. Once this one has had time to settle down on your skin, warm up with your skin chemistry and your body heat, and it really develops and it smells the best by far in the dry down. That's Versace Dylan Blue. Keeping it going here, we have Armani Code Profumo, the quote unquote root beer smelling scent as you will hear some people describe it as, and I can get that a little bit here, but that's more so in the opening. So if that does put you off, don't worry. If you don't like root beer, that's fine. The opening has somewhat of an odd resemblance to it, but you'll find in the dry down, that's the best part of the scent. Main focus is on that tonka bean and on a lot of sweeter notes. So do keep in mind, a sweet fragrance kind of gets put into the youthful and somewhat generic category, but if you're into sweet scents in general, it doesn't matter how old you are, just do realize it does have a bit more of a playful smell, which people do kind of equate to younger guys wearing this one. But you know, it is still an Armani Code fragrance or an Armani fragrance. It's high quality and they put out stuff that's gonna smell good. And I really don't think that they're marketing this to the younger crowd that much. I think it's just kind of what the community has taken upon to uh, describe it as. Regardless of that, Armani Co Profumo smells the best in the dry down. 
Up next, we have a fragrance from Tom Ford. This one is Noir Extreme. So this is kind of from their traditional regular line of scents, which are a bit more affordable than their private blends. With that also comes something that's going to be a bit more mass appealing and wearable, and that's what this one is. It's another sweet scent, but it smells very unique. I've never smelled anything like this one. Uh, it's it's uh, based off some sort of dessert. Uh, it's like kulfi or something like that, which is some sort of sweet. That's the main note in this fragrance, and that's apparently what it smells like. Now, I'll be honest, I've never had this dessert, smelled it, eaten it, anything, but I can tell you that it does smell like something that would be edible. It's like a gourmand, and that's what you get from this scent. Again, very sweet, but it smells delicious. Like this is a delicious scent, and there's a reason why this one does so well for compliments because a lot of times women like these gourmand edible type of scents on men. I don't know why. I mean, there's some that hate it, some that love it, but just they do for some reason. It's a delicious scent that smells sweet and sexy. And again, the dry down by far is the best part of this one. Moving up next, we have Azaro Pour Ohm Intense, one of my discoveries last winter that I have been nothing but happy with. I love it. This one goes in a completely different direction than the original Azaro Pour Ohm. Like it's not, you know, the same smelling scent, just stronger. Like it's a different scent. I, you still get a little bit of Azaro Pour Ohm in the dry down, like the very far dry down. Like when I smell it from the atomizer, I still do get some of that barbershop-y fougere smell. However, you still do get some cinnamon, you get some alcohol notes, and it's just a lot more of a warm, spicy, and sweet scent uh, just compared to the original Zara Porum, which is a fresh, aromatic fougere, kind of an old-school smelling scent, if you want to call it that. But this one, in the dry down, after those spicy notes have kind of rounded off and it turns warm and sweet, it smells incredible. Very affordable and honestly a fantastic pickup for winter time. Moving on, we have Guerlain Lome IDL Le Intense. As you can see, my bottle is clear. This must be the new 2020 packaging for whatever reason they changed it. If you look on pictures, you'll see the bottle is all blacked out. That's what I was expecting to get and I was disappointed when I got this one. Not that it matters, I just thought the all blacked out bottle looked way cooler and in my opinion is a better representation of how this smells than this clear bottle. Again, I don't know why they changed it. I don't know if that means a potential reformulation or tweak of the scent because I never smelled any of the bottle before, so I can just work off of what I have here. What I can tell you is that this is pretty close to the uh, Guerlain IDL EDP, Guerlain Loam IDL EDP. Uh, pretty close to that one. The main addition to this one is this like spicy chili pepper note that you get right in the opening and also just a smokiness, like an overall smokiness. That's kind of what separates the two. Still is pretty similar though to Guerlain IDL EDP. However, the dry down is when this one really shines and smells fantastic. Second to last fragrance, we have Givenchy Gentleman EDP. A beautiful scent from the house of Givenchy. So this one does get compared to Dior Homme Intense, which was earlier on in this list. However, I do find them to be quite different. Uh, this one has its own set of uses and uh, Dior Homme Intense has its own set of uses for at least how I wear them. DHI is kind of my evening, like uh, date type of fragrance, kind of dressed up, almost like a mysterious type of smell to it. Whereas Gentleman EDP, bit more of a daytime scent, something that I would wear probably a little bit more casual. It's a bit fresher, more wearable, and more mass appealing than DHI. Still, the dry down is where this fragrance shines. It gets warm and creamy and just smells incredible. Last up, we have Stronger With You Intensely. I love this fragrance, I really do. It's a guilty pleasure for me, but it smells so, so good, especially in the dry down. It just, it turns into something amazing. I love the original Stronger With You, but I have performance issues with it, but Intensely fixes that for me, which I couldn't be happier about. It smells amazing. Again, this is another one that's gonna get lumped into that youthful crowd, the playful thing, and I can 100% understand that. It is a young, playful scent, mainly because of just how sweet it is. But for me, it's something that I enjoy, especially for fall and winter time. 
It smells great. It smells even better in the dry down. So guys, that's gonna do it for me. That was 10 of the best designer dry downs. Like I said, dry down is the most important part. So having a fragrance that smells the best in the dry down, which is what you're gonna be smelling for the majority of the time, is always important. So thank you guys so much for watching. Links to all of these will be down below if you wanna check them out. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you tomorrow night with another one. Take care.